Hi. Is this on? Yeah, it is. Good. Okay. So, we are um, going to organize it a little differently because there's, uh, there's a group of people. The choir is going to leave at four o'clock and then come back a little bit after that. So we're going to get right to the uh, two of the last three acts. Um, Gelsey, who's going to present a work by Robert Ashley, and then Joan, who's going to present her own work. That's news to Gelsey. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to start with that. And then uh, when people are leaving at four or just after, I was um, asked by Gabrielle to um, check in with Nick about the politics of Grindcore and the Death Growl, because we didn't get to that in the second session. So we'll pick that up um, just after four, just after you've all filed out, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Gelsey. Thanks. Hello again. Um, so this is a song from uh, 1991 by Robert Ashley called Love is a Good Example. Um, and uh, he just passed away three weeks ago. So I'm going to dedicate this to him. Love, sure, is a good example. Regenetic. Mutation of mind toward unfathomable hunger, sure, for information. Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. We recognize by precocious need and strength to absorb unformed knowledge, unformed pure statistics, wisdom, unformed whatever. That thing is that we want so badly. Measure of the truth to that premise is that the capacity for information quantify equals very low impedance input electronic circuitry characterized by a very high current flow Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. The symptoms are similar to those of starved input systems. Requires intense giving, sure, in an our way of seeing. Things. This need is, sure, thought of as bad, requiring more attention than is available in the system. Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. In our way, at any stage of evolution. The optimum impedance is high, which equals optimum or tendency to process information to immediate use which equals sanity, sure. One called schizophrenia, extreme loneliness. This makes clear that either or one, 
the schizophrenic person could learn all of contemporary theory in, say, physics or economics, or could learn to play the piano in an expert way, in an unusually short time. If the input of the information were available, if somebody could organize the information and the language for communication to a measure of the value of a body of information, same examples, would be whether it lends itself to the learning need of the schizophrenic person. Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. This concept of evaluation in one and two can be expressed in terms of electronic circuitry. Sure. I eat sure as we rebuild sure all of current knowledge and opinion to the low impedance high current style of the schizophrenic person, we might discover that economics or piano playing as we know it is bullshit. Sure. Love. Sure. Is a good example. Love. Sure is a good example. The logic of this conclusion is what gets us trouble. No one can imagine what would take the place of the belief in sure physics or economics or piano playing more dramatic. We can't imagine what could take the place of how anything could work as well as high impedance equals good equals very processed equals immediately usable system of evaluation of intellectual behavior. If the emperor, etc., you know, it wouldn't be so bad. Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. So, so sadly, our times are known among us by the fact that almost nothing works. We are less and less fearful of the consequences of a large change. If things worked, the consequences would be understood as the necessary natural result of a sorting. Sure. Sorting as in evolutionary theory equals loss of life. Breakdown of social 
or personal systems, so-called suffering, etc. We can take that idea with no problem, e.g. ducks on TV, love, sure, is a good example, love, sure, is a good example. Not so much if the sorting takes place at a different level. The schizophrenic person, as a fact of genetic mutation, which may or may not be reversible in the long term, longer than any of us will be around. Makes you think everything is going to change. This idea could be tested rather easily by isolating schizophrenic persons from mundane concerns to see how fast and how much they can absorb. This would have two advantages. It would make the lucky subjects of the test very happy. It would give us access to a higher matrix of correlation of information. If one, the premise is true, and two, if we were able to understand what was being said afterwards, love, sure, is a good example. Love, Sure, is a good example. Everybody, me included, is afraid of drastic situations, meaning ones that could bring life to termination. So the needs of schizophrenic persons are as dangerous a reality as standing too close to the edge of a precipice. Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. The main problem is to understand what is coming back. If the schizophrenic person can absorb in acceleration, no wonder we don't understand. I use this word too loosely for those who suffer. Love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. I don't mean to contradict the doctors who work with suffering all day. They have chemical means far beyond my imagination. And they have emotional means beyond my imagination. Schizophrenic person is an idea for me. One of us I see in passing only in my mind or in a scary shop on TV for a moment.
Sure, love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example. One of us, I see in passing, only in my mind, or in a scary shot on TV for a moment. Sure, love, sure, is a good example. Love, sure, is a good example.